Hello, welcome to another video. This is a second video in which you will not see my face. I apologize. I am just testing a situation in which I am not home and I don't have access to my blackboard. I need to know what to do. So please tell me also if this brighter background is better than the darker background. I'm going to do as much as I can um, as if you're looking at me face to face. So just imagine my face and let's see what happens. We have a problem here. The derivative of f of 3x equals 2x squared, but that's not what we want. We want the derivative of f of x. How do you go from f of 3x to f of x? I need you to think of the chain rule, but you have to use it correctly. So, what I'm going to do is start from the left-hand side and say, let's use the purple color, and say that if we wrote this like this, f of 3x prime. Well, remember what we do when you apply the chain rule to a problem. It's always the derivative of the outside multiplied by the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of the outside is basically f prime of 3x, even though we don't know what that is yet, multiplied by the derivative of the inside, which is written this way. So we can say that what we have here is f prime of 3x multiplied by the derivative of 3x is 3. So our final answer would be something like this, 3f prime of 3x. Okay. But the question says, when you get this derivative, you're going to get 2x squared. So that simply means the answer we just obtained, let's go here, it simply means that 3f prime of 3x is equal to 2x squared. So what really is f prime of 3x? f prime of 3x is, if you divide both sides by 3, we're going to end up with 2 thirds of x squared. This is f prime of 3x. Okay, the mission is to get f prime of x. So we don't want 3x as the argument, we want x. So what we're going to do is do something like a straight up substitution. So we're going to say let u be equal to 3x, which means that x is equal to u over 3. So now, instead of writing 3x as the argument of this derivative expression, we're going to just plug in u there. So we say, therefore, f prime of u will be equal to, remember that this is the line we're going to come back to, 3x, um, 2 over 3, and then you have x squared. So it's going to be 2 over 3, and this is going to be x squared, but instead of writing x squared, I'm going to replace x squared with u over 3. So it's going to be u over 3 squared. And what do we get? Well, this is equal to 2 over 3 multiplied by u squared over 9. Well, that answer looks like this. f prime of u is equal to 2 over 27 u squared. Okay, so we've gone from 3x to u. When do we actually get to this x? Well, remember that in algebra, you can ex represent a function by any letter. You can represent it by u or s or t or y or x or whatever. Somehow, we have managed to represent our f of x as f of u, and f prime of x has been written as f prime of u. You don't need to worry about this or change it. Just go back and say that this was what I was looking for. I can easily change this answer and say that f prime of x is equal to 2 over 27 x squared. This is what we were looking for from the beginning.
never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.